Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to this AEW reaction video. The footage has been shown and I've got so many thoughts. I suppose one of my major thoughts though is that they didn't lie. They showed the footage. There was obviously a big fear that they were going to show footage from backstage and that footage was not going to be the footage that people wanted to see. So first of all, I've got to give them credit for saying that they were going to play the footage and they played the footage. So we've got it here. Uh, if we press play and uh, take the sound down, this is backstage. This is back. This is what the scene was. I mean, I think we've all had a mental picture as to how this played out. And to actually see the reality of it um, is actually really cool. So uh, I'm not I'm not an AEW mark or anything like that. Right. Um I don't watch the show anymore, but I am going to give them props for saying they're going to do something and then not swerving us and not messing us around because there was a big fear of that. I don't know whether showing this was a good idea or not. You know, time will tell us that. They're obviously thinking that it is going to lead to better things otherwise they wouldn't have done it so they're under the impression that this is going to work for them uh the fan bases are obviously divided wwe fans think this is going to blow up in their face i'm not sure what aew fans think but here's the scene backstage you can see uh this is jack perry over here obviously you've got a few refs that are standing around whatever here's punk come in in right so this is just after jack perry has had his match he's looked at the camera he's done the whole real glass thing to the camera which was clearly a shot at cm punk you can see samoa joe over here in the background right now they talk for quite a while right there's a lot of people that are around here this is gorilla so you can see they're just talking. You can't see Punk. You can't see his expressions. You can see that uh, Jack Perry kind of moving from side to side. Don't know what's getting said. There's no audio to this. But uh, we get to a moment in a minute where I think Punk actually pushes Jack Perry. So again, you can see we're already 43 seconds in here. But there's enough of a situation going on here. Look, the refs are clearly looking in that direction. I would imagine Samoa Joe's looking over. Kind of feels like people are very much aware that something's going down here at this point, right? And then boom. So here, he does seem to push him first. So he's sort of there. So they're talking, they're talking, they're talking, then Punk pushes. So the first thing he does is he pushes Jack Perry, right? Then he goes over to him and then seems to sort of grab him, right? So there's no punches that are thrown there's a push and then a grab and you can see i mean look joe's moving here we've got all these people that now know it's kicking off right so i, I can't quite tell if that's a front face lock a guillotine kind of thinking that it is right i'm kind of thinking that it is joe straight in look here's joe he's straight over trying to get between but he you can see that punk does hold on to this for quite a while it's not just that he grabs him joe's over and he lets it go he is holding on to it for a little bit and uh here you can see look still holding still holding and then they're finally pulled apart so it's a push it's a grab holding on to it for a bit joe comes over and then eventually they are separated and you know the book said as well we're going to show you this it's like something you would see in a playground and they said this isn't even the worst of it in the sense of it's funny how these incidents get like really blown up right out of not out of proportion but um like it's funny because in your mind you're thinking all this stuff's gone down backstage and and then you finally see it and it and it really is like a playground thing a push grabbing of the heads holding on for like 10 seconds or whatever and then that's it but they're saying that that's not the worst of it the worst of it is that this nearly brought down the show <laughs> like you know this and it did derail things for them because of course this would lead to punk being well, terminated, he was gone after this. He would go out and have his match, but then he was gone after that. So, you know, this, le this moment led to Punk, obviously, 
Uh, well, not quite this moment. I think Punk, in his mind, was probably already done with AEW at this point. I think as soon as the real glass thing happened, and then he goes up to Tony Khan and says, can you deal with that? And Tony's answer was, what do you want me to do about it? I think at that point, Punk knew that he was going to have to do something about it. And at that point, I'd imagine he knew it was not going to go very well. So it's it's moments after this, he tells Tony Khan, I'm done. You know, this is a joke company. You're a clown. Um, and so at this point, you know, it's 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 done. But this moment, I mean, in the history of wrestling, this little scuffle, right? This little moment here is is absolutely monstrous. It's absolutely huge. You could say that this really derailed AEW's momentum because all people were talking about after this show was this incident and what was going to happen next for Punk. He obviously then wasn't at the show the following week. They did another pay-per-view the next week in Chicago and Punk wasn't there. I mean, he was done. He was gone. And this is when Tony Khan told us about how he had feared for his life and all of that. We didn't see the fearing for the life stuff. We didn't get that. But in all fairness, I'd heard beforehand they weren't going to show that. They were just going to show this part of it, right? So there you can see now they're being separated. There's Punk being led away. Jack Perry over here. And uh, look at that. Head in hands. Head in hands. Just, I think that's Chris Hero, uh, just led away, and that was that. That's the footage. It runs for 1 minute 12, but you can see the actual confrontation is quite quite short. Sean Ross Sapp, just three minutes ago, said, It's the real footage. CM Punk pushed Jack Perry and tried to choke him. Joe and Hook grabbed Perry. Chris Hero and Jerry Lynn grabbed Punk. Uh, uh, Sonya Dutt talks to Perry and Malachi Black approaches punk hero walks away in disbelief that's the head in the hands moment yeah so um so we see the footage and then you know they didn't say cm punk's name this is how it was presented they were backstage like this yeah um what they said and how they're using this footage is they're trying to build towards a match with ftr so apparently on april 21st they've got a show called dynasty there's a tag tournament final uh, to crown the new champions right i'm guessing this is following the fact that sting and darby allen vacated those titles after sting retired so the final is going to be ftr against young bucks and it said Oh, they said that their wounds had not healed since the last time they faced. And that, of course, would have been London. It was the biggest show in the company's history, uh, maybe the biggest match of their career. Everyone was saying the winners of this match were going to be the tag team of this generation. Like it was really being built up that much. And then they said, and then there was an incident that happened backstage involving two individuals, one being the scapegoat, Jack Perry. And they say, if you know Jack is just a lovable kid, like they really do try to paint Jack as this angelic, perfect person, which we sort of know isn't true. There's been a lot of people that have said he's difficult to work with, a lot of people that have gone to meet and greets that have not had the best experience, right? So they're painting a picture that he's this lovable kid. And they said, like, if you've got a problem with Jack Perry, then maybe you're the problem, right? They're really making out that this guy, you know, is, is amazing, is fantastic, is perfect. If you've got a problem with him, maybe you're the problem. Um, <clears throat> and they said the other individual tried to make this about themselves. Um, and he says, like, that got us thinking maybe FTR were behind this because this incident meant that we had to be EVPs. We couldn't be wrestlers. We had to be EVPs. So they're saying, like, it distracted. They couldn't do their med meditation. They couldn't pray. They couldn't get their hydration sorted. It basically disrupted their preparation for their match. So they're saying, actually, you know, CM Punk, they didn't name him, but the other individual is good friends with FTR. Maybe FTR like orchestrated this maybe they're behind this and uh, it was a bit cheeky because matt turned to nick and he says you don't know that 
you can't spread rumors like that not on a public forum like this and he's like you're right you're right that would be reckless clearly taking a dig at cm punk who's come out and said a lot of stuff uh which they're saying is rumor yeah he's treating it like it's facts but um, they're kind of making out that it's, it was rumor, right? Uh, then he says, like, they went on to beat us. FTR went on to beat us. But there should be a massive asterisk next to that because of our preparation. And, our, like, what a distraction this was. Uh, he said the locker room was in disarray. He also said respectable journalists needed answers. And you might remember that CM Punk really went hard on the wrestling journalists. Um, and so FTR, um, Young Bucks here, sorry, being a bit cheeky, just kind of saying that there was respectful, uh, respectable wrestling journalists that needed answers. So um, basically, they've shown the footage. They're trying to use it as a way of building towards their match with FTR. I've seen, obviously, WWE fans going, this is cringe, this is awful, the, the company's buried, all this kind of stuff. I found it entertaining, if I'm going to be honest with you. I found it entertaining. Uh, the Young Bucks are heels at the moment. So them showing this footage, they lived up to what they said they were going to do. Them using this as a way to build up their match with FTR... Um, I can kind of see what they're saying. I can kind of see how they're doing it and why they're doing it that way. Um, I don't know that it's going to really do a great deal for the build for that match. But um, it's definitely got the attention of the wrestling world. People wanted to know what this was. They want to know the reaction to this. They want to know if it worked. Was it cringe? I've got to say, I, I, I've come away from it going, well, do you know what? They've shown me something that I have always wanted to see, and I really respect that. They've tried to tie it into a current storyline to explain why they're showing it. This did not make Punk look bad, right? In my eyes, this didn't make him look bad. If anything, it just he it, it did exactly what he said he did. I mean, this just makes Punk look quite cool. I mean, I, I don't even really see this as a shot, I'm sure some people will, but I don't really see this as a shot, apart from the little comments that they made about, you don't know that's true, you can't treat rumours as if they're facts, talking about the journalists being respectable, talking about uh, Jack Perry being a lovable kid, painting him out to be the innocent party, right? But actually, beyond that, this made Punk look really cool. Uh, it, like, uh, if they're trying to make Punk look rubbish or like a bad person it it hasn't done that punk punk is just amazing punk looks great at coming out of this they've it's backfired in the sense of it, if it was an attempt to damage punk's brand it's certainly not done that i don't think jack perry looks bad here either though because he stands there and then he gets uh, pushed back and before he can react or do anything he's it, you know his head's been grabbed and you know then it gets separated. So uh, I didn't look at this as like Jack Perry looking bad or anything. Um, I didn't, it's not like he was like in tears or down on the floor or knocked out or anything like that. So m my reaction to it is punk looks awesome. I've got no issue with punk coming out of this footage. Jack Perry looks fine. They delivered what they promised They've tried to tie it in with the storyline, and it feels okay. It's maybe not the strongest tie-in, but yeah, I can sort of go with it. Um, and honestly, I don't really have don't really have any negatives for it. But that's me, you know. That's me. There'll be plenty of people out there going, "How can you say that? This is the cringiest thing I've ever seen in the history of wrestling." I don't really know why anyone would have that take. I mean, this is footage that we wanted to see, and they've shown us. And it doesn't make punk look bad. So, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. That's my reaction to this. Um, but, yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.